Greetings guys, this is Tograf, and oh boy, I've got a, cre a treat for you today. This is the AMX CDC, driven by a friend of mine, Lino98. He is a friend of mine who, yeah, attends the same school as I do, and he recently bought the AMX CDC, the new tier 8 French premium tank. And a few of my friends have already bought this tank a few days ago and they absolutely loved it and I can't wait to pick up this vehicle myself. But what do you need to know about this? This is a very heavily mobile tier 8 French medium tank. It has got no armor whatsoever. The tank is very big indeed. But its mobility is great. Its gun is great. And its DPM is great. So... A overall very very good tier 8 medium tank as I said this is French and it has no armor at all so how do you need to play this tank is a support role this thing cannot fight on the front line because it just has too less armor to do so this tank is very good at outmaneuvering its enemies because it is that mobile but what you can't do is fight on the front line as I already told you. So that is what Lion was doing here. He is sitting in a bush back here. So that he won't get spotted. And he is just shooting the enemy over and over and over again. The accuracy of this gun is 0.34. Which is pretty good. It is not the best of course. But I think 0.34 is a really good accuracy. Has an aim time of 2 seconds which is really good in my opinion. And a reload time of around 6.4 seconds, I think it was. So, a very, very good gun, in my opinion. So, still shooting the enemy from a bush here. He already put in three shots without any problems here. He's just searching for shots. But, he has to look at the timer because he is on Erlenberg Assault. And... As many of you know, Assault Mode only gives you 10, uh, 10 minutes to capture the enemy base or defend the enemy base. So what he has to do to win is capture the enemy base or destroy all the enemy vehicles. So he has to make get some tempo going here because he already spent 3 minutes sitting on this hill here. But he has got a lot of targets to shoot at at the same point. So it is just looking at targets which he can engage, I guess. Misses a few shots there. There's a lot of enemy tanks back there. And the other flank pretty much seems very empty. So now Lino... Is just looking around for more targets but I think he yes he's going to make a move now I guess he really has to make his move now because otherwise he will not be able to finish the game in time he will really get time problems if he stays up here longer three and a half minutes spent on this hill bounces a few shots on the tiger there not sure if I should take these shots Good shot into the uh, KP3 though. Very good shot. That shot went a little bit low when it went into the tracks of the IS. There we go. That's the first kill of Lino this game. So now he already spent four minutes on this hill. In my opinion that is very... Oh, well predicted blind shot there from Lino. But... Now he is going to make a move. He has to make a move because he only has 5 minutes left to finish this game. And there is still a pretty big amount of the enemies left alive. Although his team is 3 tanks in front. He is certainly not done though. Luckily he has all his health remaining still because he has remained very, very stationary on that hill back there. Really well played by him. Tiger 2 comes in. That is not very good news. This gun has got really good penetration of 215. So he should be able to go through the turret of the Tiger 2 there. 
unfortunate bounce there. But what Lino is doing here is very good. He's making use of his 10 degrees of gun depression. So that he is only showing his turret to the enemy. Because yeah, he can't show his hull because this thing has no armor at all. Every shot that will hit you will pen you. What he only can do now is help his team out. He can't really support his team in another way than this. He can't take fire for himself because this thing has no armor as I said for a million times now. So what he does, he takes a shot and he pulls back making sure that he won't take any more fire from the enemy. But now he realizes he's getting outnumbered and he really has to do something. And if that means that uh, he needs to exchange health for damage, then it be so. He can't do anything about it because he needs to get some kills going. There are only one tank in front at the moment. As Lina just killed the Tiger 2 there. But the enemy has also managed to kill one of his allies, so they are still one tank in front now. Really nice play there. Put a shot into the KV-3 and pulled back. Really good play there. Puts a good shot into the T-34 there. I'm not sure what he's doing. Maybe he's auto-aiming on the T-28 prototype who's standing on that corner there. I have no clue. But now he has got some serious opponents on his hand. He has got three or four enemy tanks against him. And the T-28 prototype doesn't seem to do very much. He has to work all these enemies. Really, really nice shot there in the compiler of the T-28. E4 I guess it is. A super Pershing. That thing has no armor on there. Now Lion is going to make a small misplay. He forgets that there is a troll plate on the KB3 front which will almost certainly be a bounce for almost every gun. Anyway, what a great game so far. And he has more enemies left. Unbelievable. As he kills the last remaining enemy on this flank. Unbelievable. He has picked up 5 kills and did 4700 damage. Only cleaning up this flank. Really well played by Lionel there. He sees that the T28 was poking, uh, was aiming at him, so he pulled back. Really well done by him. He can't take any more shots. But now he only has two minutes left to win the game. And there's still three enemy tanks left. And one of the T uh, T destroyers is sitting here. A few meters away from him. And we can already predict where the RT is. He's of course on the other side of the map in A0. And... The ISU-152 is last being spotted on the other side of the map as well. So he really has to kill this T-28 prototype. And go and kill the rest of the enemy as quickly as he can. Ooh, that was a really unlucky shot. But I think he needs to exchange some health again to kill this T-28 prototype. And it looks like he's doing so. He really has to kill the enemies quickly. Otherwise it will be over. One minute left. As he picks up a nice top gun medal for himself. 5,100 damage so far. Absolutely ridiculous. 50 seconds left. As the enemy Artie claims one of his allies again. Luckily the good top speed limit of this tank comes in handy. At the end of this game. 40 seconds left. Oh god there's the ISU. There is the ISU. Put one shot into him. Try to avoid his shot. Oh god he was shooting HE. And he hit the tracks. That could have so easily been his death there. If the ISU didn't hit his tracks, it would have been his death for certain. But now, 7 seconds, 6 seconds, 5 seconds, and the Arty has to be in this corner. Will he kill the Arty before the time runs out? No. He won't. 
guys, what a game for Lionel here. This was a defeat, of course, because he did not kill all of the enemy vehicles on time in the assault game mode. But besides that, he picked up the mastery badge for this game. A fire for effect token, a duelist token, a bruiser token. He picked up 2,994 experience for a lost. 156,145 credits. That is just mental. He also picked up the high caliber medal and of course the top gun medal for his 6 kills. He damaged the majority of the enemy team as you can see down here. So let's take a look at the team scores. He did 5,327 damage in total. He killed 6 enemy tanks giving him the top gun medal. And he got 1,815 base experience for a lost. That is just mental. That is more than anyone of the enemy team could even get close to. When you lose, guys, you get 50% less bonus experience. Because, yeah, you, did, you lost the game. So if Lionel had won this game, he would have gotten over 2 thousand base experience for this game that is just mental and look at this guys because this was a premium tank he picked up a very healthy profit of 135,409 credits that is just mental even for a game like this that is that is this is crazy he fired 45 shots of which 33 hits and 24 penetrated giving after damage of 5327 he received three hits and of course all three of them penetrated nothing almost nothing will bounce on that tank hits of splash damage received one oh my god yeah that of course splashed him a bit enemy vehicle spotted one enemy vehicles damaged nine in total of which he killed Six damage due to player's assistance, spotting damage 2011, and he had to travel nearly yeah, over three kilometers to do so. This was a very short game of precisely 10 minutes. It, it, it was just crazy how much damage he was, he was able to put out in this short amount of time. So, guys, this was the video. I hope you still like the video of me showing off the AMX CDC. I can't wait to buy that vehicle myself. I think it is thoroughly worth the money. I think I will buy that in the holidays which will be coming up in 3 days. If you like the video please don't forget to leave a like down below because I did put a lot of time in making this video. You can also share this video in if you want and if not then I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye guys.